Hi guys, happy Friday, happy Good Friday. Um, I'm coming to do a little Friday reading with you early. In March, I did not do a very good job of sticking with my book here, which is A Little God Time for Mothers. Um, and with this being Good Friday, I feel like it's appropriate to really uh, recommit to doing that on a daily basis. And so I'm bringing Taylor in and we can make this a weekly check in. I think that's a great accountability tool for me when I know I'm not just showing up for myself, but I show up for others and I commit to that. So every Friday in April, let's commit to doing this together. And so today's reading is called Shifting Priorities. When we become mothers, life is naturally just changes. And so do the relationships around us. Our friendships tend to shift and take a back seat to the little family we are knitting. We become inwardly involved and focused. It takes a more concentrated effort to pour into our friends. Time is limited, our energy is drained, and our priorities have changed, but good friendships are worth fighting for. Friends are valuable. Mothering with the support of people that love and care for us is priceless. We need each other. That's pretty powerful because I haven't had much conversation um, with some of my closest girlfriends in, you know, a couple of weeks. You know, we have the, the, the group chat, but not as um, intentionally as it could be. So I can receive this message for today. Mm -hmm. It says, offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If one anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. That's 1 Peter 4, 9 through 11. So um, the questions that I get at the end of each reading is what I really enjoy the most with this is... Consider how you love the people in your life. Okay, I can do that. Um, and then it says, do you make time for close friends? And that's a yes and no, I would say. Um, I lean more towards yes, um, just because it feels better to say yes. But if I really, yeah, I think it's a yes. Um, open your home, even if it's messy, serve and encourage them in the journey, be a shoulder to cry on or the friend to confide in love deeply. So that question, do you make time for close friends? I want to do a better job. So I want that answer to be yes, not a yes, no. And that's going to require for me to make the shift for that to happen. Isn't that right, Taylor? You want to talk to your aunties, don't you? You like when you see them in that little black box, right? Yeah, yeah, so we can do a better job. And thank you for this reading um, today. It, it helps to ground yourself in um, certain principles. And I feel like I'm a principled person. And I want to make sure that I exercise that, that that um, part of myself to stay um, committed to those things and friends are important to me. And so ironic, I'm wearing my friend's shirt. Ah, I didn't even know that this was gonna be about friends today. So God is trying to tell me something about my friends and my relationships. So I receive that, I really do. I'm gonna make some calls today. I am, and do some check-ins. All right, we're gonna do some check-ins again on the TV. So that's it, guys. Our Friday. Check in. It's over. Say bye-bye, Taylor. Say bye.